Chicago police have arrested a man in the 2013 shooting death of a mother of three that was part of the retaliatory violence that led to last year's slaying of nine-year-old Deshaun Lee, the Tribune has learned. Christian Taylor, 29, was arrested Tuesday night at his home in Springfield on charges that he shot and killed 29-year-old Sean Tina Burpo with a shotgun in the Auburn-Gresham neighborhood, according to Chicago police and police records. A first-degree murder warrant was issued for Taylor's arrest Tuesday in connection with the fatal shooting of Borpo, Cook County court records show. He was due in bond court Thursday. Borpo and Tashon's deaths were part of a series of retaliatory shootings and a feud between warring factions in Auburn Gresham with ties to two of Chicago's most historic gangs, Kill a Ward of the Gangster Disciples and Terror Dome of the Black Pea Stones. Law enforcement sources with knowledge of the case said Taylor is a reputed Terror Dome member. Burpo was fatally wounded in a drive-by shooting a little before midnight September 19, 2013, in the 7900 block of Southwood Street as she hung out on the block with several people, including about five members of Killa Ward, one of the sources said. Police believe Burpo, who died early the next day, was not the intended target. Court records show Taylor, also 29, has been arrested a number of times, a criminal history that includes a felony conviction for a 2004 drug case and a misdemeanor conviction in a 2006 battery case. Other law enforcement sources have told the Tribune that police are investigating whether the gang rivalry has led to as many as 15 fatal and non-fatal shootings since 2011. Citing witness accounts. Sources said, Chicago police believe Burpo's killing has led to several retaliatory homicides, including in 2015. Tashon Lee's family granted permission to the Tribune to document his visitation and funeral at Street Sabena Catholic Church, along with behind-the-scenes preparations, as Chicago and showed kindness and respect to a nine-year-old whose slaying shocked the city. E. Jason Wamskins, Chicago Tribune police have been looking into whether the back-and-forth violence between the two gangs led to the August 5th slaying of Adrius Hayes, 21, a reputed Kill Award member who was found fatally shot inside a car at 75th Street and Damon Avenue near the border of Auburn Gresham and West Englewood. On October 13, Tracy Morgan, a reputed Terror Dome member, was shot and killed in the West Chatham neighborhood after leaving a mandatory meeting for parolees, part of an anti-violence effort by Chicago police and other law enforcement. Morgan's mother, who was driving the car, was wounded by gunfire. Authorities have said the breach of gang street code, the wounding of Tracy Morgan's mother, led Corey Morgan, another one of her sons who is also an alleged Terror Dome member, to threaten and retaliate with attacks on grandmas, mamas, kids and all. Five days after Tracy Morgan's killing, another reputed Terror Dome member, Dwight Boone Doty, spotted a Kill Award member in a car in the 7800 block of South Honor Street in Auburn Gresham, according to authorities. He opened fire wounding the rival but killing 19-year-old Brianna Jenkins, who had just recently met the gang member and was sitting beside him in the car, according to authorities. About two weeks later on November 2, Boone Doty shot and killed Dishon in an alley behind the 8,000 block of South Damon Avenue, according to prosecutors. Boone Doty, Corey Morgan and a third reputed Terror Dome member, Kevin Edwards, recognized Dishon as the son of Pierre Stokes, an alleged Kill Award member, according to prosecutors. Boone Doty chatted with Dishon, a fourth grader, as he played in Dawes Park. He then allegedly lured the boy into the alley across the street, telling him that he would take him to the store and buy him anything he wanted, prosecutors said when Boone Doty was charged. At the T-intersection in the alley, Boone Doty turned and faced Dishon shooting him repeatedly before fleeing the scene with Corey Morgan and Edwards, prosecutors said. Boone Doty and Morgan have been charged with first-degree murder and their Sean's death. Edwards, who is still at large and believed to be out of state, is charged in the killing in an arrest warrant. Boone Doty was also charged with killing Jenkins and wounding the gang member she was with. Most recently, on March 8, 
prosecutors said Stokes, Dershon's father, shot three people at a gas station in the 7900 block of South Ashland Avenue. One of the victims was Corey Morgan's girlfriend. The shooting occurred on the same day that Boone Doty appeared in bond court on the murder charges for the killings of Dershon and Brianna Jenkins. Stokes was arrested several days later and charged in the shooting. He's being held without bond in Cook County Jail.